All right, hello everybody, it's Jillian. I just wanted to um, do a real brief update. My husband is sleeping upstairs. It's so dark in there, it's so nice. So I had to get up, of course, and take care of business and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, uh, I missed the Aurora last night. Even though I told my husband, he said he didn't see it. He went out and looked. You have to be in open field. There's too much light pollution here. But I wasn't really that committed to seeing it. I mean, I know I wanted to one day, but yeah, last night, actually yesterday, I was up at three in the morning. So I was up hella, hella early, right? And I did my Facebook live for a couple hours and then I ate some food and, and I watched a, a, a movie or so. And then I went to sleep because I'll tell you the, the drop between the hot and the cold and all that, it definitely makes your lymph nodes and everything just so sore because growth is producing and it's pushing things through. And so towards the end of the evening last night, I, my armpits, both sides had rashes. And that was because the lymphocytes, all those jetsam and flotsam and things that people get diagnosed with when it comes to cancer and disease, that was actually coming out of my armpits. And so, um, cause I didn't really poop yesterday, but I did poop this morning, like a whole lot and I was blowing my nose, but I did sleep in too. And I slept really well, but, um, but that's why it's so important that you condition for this environment because, because you have to be able to trust your lymph nodes, your blood vessels, your whole alimentary canal. You have to trust that it's going to help you survive this, even though you might feel like you're in pain, but that's part of it. That's why you have to condition everything from up here down here and leverage stuff. And some people are strong down there, so their lower half can push stuff out, but they're still up here you have to deal with. And so if half your immune system is working, okay, that's fine, but you really want the full Monty. You want both of your sides of your immune system working. You want the upper immune system to work and the lower immune system to work. Why do I call it the immune system? Because your immune system is how the body processes microbes and what it keeps and what it distributes out and what it releases. And so if you really can't release up here, but you're strong like my husband, yeah, then okay, he will have his gradual deterioration and he's fine with that. It's um, when you both your immune system start working, then people get operations, they get all these different things that go on. And so you don't want to be that point where both your sides of your immune system is not working. And so I've opened up both sides of my immune system, like literally. And even though they were open every so often, that I would feel the respiratory conditions, I would always then try to stop the body from releasing using Theraflu, NyQuil, allergy medication, you know, herbs and extracts and all that. And that really fucked me up for a long time. And so those were the demons the last three years that I was actually releasing because of what we did in the holistic world, which we didn't know any better. We were following what others were doing, but it bit us in the ass. It bit me in the ass. And so I had to release those along with whatever else I took on for how many years. All right. So yesterday that the last night I was releasing that's why my arms were hurting yesterday morning. Remember I was showing you when I was doing those Facebook Live that my arm up here was hurting? Yeah, it was hurting because it was sore. The lymph nodes, your armpits have to release stuff. That's why women get breast cancer. That's why they get heart attacks and strokes. That's why they have to get things removed because the body cannot release. And so it causes growths. It causes things to torture them. And so, and that even men too. That's why I get back pain because it's the immune system trying to push stuff through. And so that's why you really have to understand how to leverage everything down there to get it out. Because when I, was when I was pulling out the crap this morning, it was like Tootsie Rolls. More fucking Tootsie Rolls. It wasn't right there at the exit where it can come out easily. No, I had to literally like leverage everything, blow my nose and get it out. And so some people might have a blood type that gives them that energy down there, but they don't have it up here to blow their nose because they have sensitive ear, nose, and throat, and so every body has its own compensating for what it doesn't have, or they overcompensate, and so, you know, so you, so, I mean, sometimes it has to be that way, where you have to actually help your body release stuff, and when the weather is like this, where it's so extreme from hot to cold, 
Yeah, the body gets confused and it wants to hold on to stuff and then it also will torture you at the same time. And so it's so important to understand indicators. And so it was, so I just decided that I wasn't going to make a point of finding an open field to go look at the Aurora. I see all your pictures and that's so great. And now that it's so commonplace, it's not something like, oh, one day I'll go make a pilgrimage to Alaska to go see the Aurora. Uh, it's happening. It might ha it'll happen again, I'm sure. If it never happens again, that's fine. But I'm glad you guys got to enjoy it. And so, anyways, that's it. I'm going to hang out with my husband. When he wakes up, I'm going to drink my coffee and watch another movie and just enjoy my house. Enjoy being relatively stable. This is like the the paradise that Alighieri was talking about. This is a little paradise. Imagine when everyone deals with their issues and they stop suffering so much and they stop hunting each other and hurting each other. That will be a different paradise. And we'll have beautiful plants and animals running free and the birds will be singing and everything will be just so awesome. But that's way in the fucking future. <laughs> but right now, the paradise that I'm enjoying is right after a uh, energy conversion and temperature is going up and down. And I'm not in pain for at least a day or two until the next energy sequence comes in. That's the paradise. Okay, that's the paradise he's talking about but he's talking about it on a more exponential level i'm saying find that paradise for you earn your little bouts of relative equilibrium because what what people tend to do is they want paradise 100 percent of the time and they don't want to pain for it they don't want to pay for it they want pleasure and paradise continuous well there's a price to pay for that and every single time the climate changes or something else goes on and they don't want to pay the piper for the climate change and for their life. They try to stay in pleasure and paradise until it bites them in the ass and they can't survive anything. I mean, you had 80 years of fucking pleasure and paradise with really relative equilibrium at least 50 years ago. But some of us are basically 50 years old, so we, we didn't get the pleasure and paradise. Oh no, we got a lot of suffering. Absolutely. Gen X <laughs> got a lot of suffering. Boomers had it good boomers had it good that was probably the last generation that had it actually really good you could say gen x probably had it good in the beginning and then when their 20s and 30s things started waking up and so you had it good as a kid but boomers had it good as a kid and as an adult on some level i mean everything's relative so now we got to pay for it we're cleaning up the messes we're gen x millennials will follow in the footsteps of their parents, try to live their lifestyle, they can't, whatever. But we have a possibility, Gen X, to redirect. All right, so earn your paradise. Earn every bit of paradise you have, even if it's for like five fucking minutes. Earn it. Nothing is for free. All right, bye.